NC Prepper here again with you with another video. Uh, in this video I want to discuss another one of my DIY solar generators that I've built. This one is in a small uh, ammo can that I uh, this made by Plano as you can see there on the leg logo. It's one of the I think this is roughly about nine inches by seven or eight inches tall by four or five inches wide uh, that I can carry around it's got the small handle on the top um, in the in the description I can get I'll give better dimensions uh, measurements and I'll also give a weight on the uh, solar generator as well um, so let me reset the camera here real quick and uh, I'll dig into the box and show you what I've done all right, uh, in this one I've done, I went pretty simple. I, uh, I just put a single cigarette lighter plug on this one. Uh, I really, this one, the box is kind of nice because it has a rubber O-ring on the uh, inner, on the inner lid of this. So I wanted to kind of try to keep as much of the, as, of the rain resistance as I could, or, or maintain that, the, the integrity of the rain resistance on there. Um, and this one has proven itself to me that in a in a pretty light rain, uh, it, it, this the way that this uh, goes into the plug and the way that it snaps in once you've drilled the hole, um, it's it's pretty tight. So it wouldn't be waterproof by any means, but I wouldn't leave it out in uh, conditions like that in the first place. But it's kind of a, a nice little box I picked up at uh, a Bass Pro Shop. For about 10 bucks uh, that uh, has worked out pretty well um, i'll open it up and uh take it let me re reposition it and i'll show you the along here you can kind of see where it's black there's just an o-ring that completely goes around the lid of this to give it some water resistance and then what i've done is uh uh, I got this from Harbor Freight actually. This is a small um, uh, power inverter. It's rated at 80 watts continuous, 200 watts peak. So, so I could um, power quite a bit of, uh, um, you know, uh, something off of AC that were, that's uh, uh, if, even a small TV, something like that, that has a lot of startup power at first, draws a lot of power at first, uh, but then. Uh, sales down and it will be as I said it is rated to 80 uh, watts it does come with a little USB plug as well I think this is only rated at one watt or uh, one amp sorry um, I can I can look that up to see so it's not going to charge thing um, your phone at full speed but it, it's still it you could plug your phone in and then you could also run something that, that doesn't require much more than 80 watts it does have a fan in it to keep the unit cool. Uh, then uh, for a battery, I've got a, a 12 volt. This is a, this happens to be a 12 amp battery. So you can see, maybe you can see, um, that it actually almost fills the entire compartment. And then what I did to keep it from sliding around, see if I can zoom in a little bit, just, um, the material there is that stuff that you'll put on shelves or you put into drawers to keep things from sliding around it's that rubbery type material so that this doesn't slide around inside the box too much as you're carrying it um, I did it is fused on the inside it just uses a regular 12 volt fuse uh, I carry Another USB plug, and just a little one amp, 12 volt plug that plugs in. And then I also have, let me zoom this back out a little bit. I also have a little pigtail here. This is the connector that my solar panels, my larger, like the 20 watt panel that I have in another video where I show the $10 solar panel stand it has this connector on the end of it so then I can just take these wires off slip this on and I can actually charge this battery up by that solar panel 
um, because of this battery being a 12 amp battery, the 20 watt panel is actually perfect for that because the panel outputs 1.2 amps and to get a full charge on this battery at, at uh, what I guess you would call full speed, uh, you want 10%. So if you have a 12 amp battery, you're really looking for a 1.2 amp charge. Well, a 20 watt panel, uh, and I'll actually have a link to that panel because it's actually back on sale again at Amazon. At last check, it was around $50 prime, shipped prime two days for free. Uh, no tax if you live in certain areas that it's a perfect match for this battery pack. So, uh, this is I took this camping with me this past weekend and I used it to top off my off the e boot. Um, the little solar powered battery backup that I use for my cell phone to keep I kept my phone topped off between this and that all weekend long and I didn't have to use any electricity at all so this is basically just a, a review of a, of a yet another DIY uh, solar generator that I've put together uh, these seem to be pretty video, pretty popular videos on my channel right now I think a lot of people are interested in alternative ways to get electricity so as always, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. I love to respond and love the questions that people ask. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and please subscribe. And I'll be back with another video as quickly as I can. Thanks.